Hi there, folks. On a beautiful August day. And here is a side of paradise that you've never seen before. You're looking to the east. Do you think paradise has east, west, north, and south? Well, you like to hear a story? I have a story to tell you. Once upon a time, there was a woman named Glendora, and she had a friend named Marion. And her friend Marion uh, was assisted by Glendora in going to the Roman Catholic Church at 10 o'clock Mass Sunday. And Marion was very faithful, and she always went to Mass at 10 o'clock, and Glendora was always faithful. She went to 10 o'clock Mass, too even though she's a member of the Chatham Methodist Church. But yesterday, friend Marion was not at Mass. And Glendora was aghast, because it would have to be something terribly bad to keep her from Mass. And was Glendora after Mass to go seek Marion at her home to see if she was all right? Or should Glendora fill her commitment to go to the Nassau Reformed Church? What was Glendora to do? Well, she went up to the Reformed Church, which is juxtaposed to the Roman Catholic Church. Their properties are contiguous. She, Glendora looked for Genevieve, the cat, who's been missing for eight days again and uh, the food was dish was empty somebody had eaten the food and the water dish was okay well Glendora opted she did have the commitment to the Nassau Reformed Church a Dutch Protestant Church so she went but she got out of there about 1230 and she went to friend Marion's house and surely enough there's friends Marion's car and Glendora rapped on the door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Glendora did this 12 times from 12.30 to 12.15. Excuse me, from 12.30 to 2.15. And she asked the neighbors and she asked the people who were working there around the apartments. And nobody would help. Nobody would help. What was Glendora to do? Was she to call the police? why it would be terrible to call the police and break down the door if Marion's in there and all right. It was really a dilemma. One way out was as bad as the other. She went down and asked her friend Donna should she call the police and Donna said yes. She wanted to call the local Nassau police but it was recording and they gave her a number but it was in Troy. And Troy is, you know, it's like 40 minutes from here. And she went to Cumberland, and the man there helped her. And the man there kept calling her Mary Poppins. <laughs> well, and I, then she called again. This time she called 911 directly. And they couldn't find it. It's in an alley. It's in an alley off of Route 203. So the thing to do was to go out there and stand on Highway 203, and if she saw anybody, motion them in and go into the uh, alley. Well, finally a trooper did come, a New York State trooper. And Glendora motioned him in, and he was very nice. His name was uh, Esposito, Trooper Esposito. And he rapped, and there was no response. And he looked through the window, and he could see another door. And there was no response. And then he said, is she all on the first floor? Yes, she is. So he walked along the ground and came to another window, and he rattled that. And then he said he saw a door open. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She was alive. And there was a fight going on all the time, you know. Uh, are you making a fool of somebody? You know, are you doing a false alarm? Uh, should you just go home and forget about it? Sure, she's all right. But supposing she wasn't. 
And when I lived in Columbia County, the county south of Rensselaer County, where I live now, there were three people who died in their apartments, in bed, at home. Well, so right or wrong, the decision was made to call, and it turned out to be right, and I told this to Trooper Esposito, and he says, no, no, it's better to be safe than sorry. That was nice, wasn't it? And then we went and rapped on the door, and then Marion came to the door, and she was fine. And she explained to the trooper how glad she was that she had friends at work when she, if she didn't ever show up at work, who would call? And that she had friends at home who would take care of you. Now I made a video of it, and it's uh, not a good video, but it's all that could be done because this once upon a time Glendora was busy uh, with making sure Marion was all right and taking care of things for Trooper Esposito. So the video is not being concentrated upon and it's up and down here and there, but it does give the audio and there's some video that is pertinent. So I'll show you that video.